Hey guys, Chris from Versus 3D, back at 3D Printing Canada. See? Um, donning my new attire. Fancy, huh? Um, anyway, hey, we are here to talk about a product that I absolutely love, rave about to everybody who will listen. Uh, it's something that we had shot in our new products video, so go back and take a look at that one. We're going to talk about Magigoo today. This thing, I just like everybody else, was someone said to me, oh, have you tried Magigoo? I'm like, oh, what's that? They're like, oh, that's just bed adhesion stuff. I said, oh, well, I use hairspray. I don't care. And then uh, uh, probably about a year, over a year ago, somebody gave me a sample pack of Magigoo. And I was like, eh, whatever, I'll try it. Now I buy giant bottles like this all the time. It's all I use. Um, it's only good for glass or mirrors, just so you know, I, I wouldn't suggest trying it on build tack. I never have, but I don't think it would work, um, or PEI. But this stuff is amazing. You put it on the bed when it's cold, then it's heat activated, it dries, it's not tacky, you can barely even see that it's on your bed. When you start your print, your print sticks to that bed and it will stick to that bed until the bed cools down. So let's show you how it works. All right, so let's go ahead and show you how to apply it. So what I have right now is I have a clean, cool bed. This bed is room temperature. Right now it's 23 degrees, okay? So all you do is Magigoo comes in two sizes. This is the big one. We also have a smaller one. Um, the big one is great for beds like the CR-10S4, which is 400 by 400. Makes it easier. So just give it a quick shake. And this is what I do. It's, it comes with like a little bingo dabber thing. So you shake it. And then what I do is I just give it a little squeeze and then push down. So I have like a little dot there. And then I just ever so gently squeeze and run it all along the bed like this. It doesn't have to be on every millimeter of the bed. It's going to hold your stuff in place, believe me. So I'll run it across like that, and then I'll just do a quick run across this way. And that's it. That's how thin you put it on. You don't need it to be thick. Thicker is actually worse. Don't forget to put the cover back on. And I will warn you now, do not do that when the bed is hot. Don't do it. I've done it. You ruin the sponge because it will instantly harden on the sponge and you might as well throw it away. So now all we have to do is heat up the bed. So I'm going to run it right up to 60 degrees. And now we wait. All right, so now the bed's up to temperature. I'm going to put my hand on it anyway, just to prove a point. That's hot, but it's not sticky. It's not tacky. It's nothing. It just feels like the glass bed. And now it's hot. Anyway, I'm going to start the print. What I did is I just designed a really simple, um, piece that's going to be very, very thin and it's going to be most of the bed or it's, it's about 300 millimeters. So it's a good chunk of the bed. It's got some really thin pieces. You'll see it anyway. Here we go. And we're off. As soon as we hit one more degree. There we go. All right, so first layer is done. 
Just wanted you to have a quick look. You can see this is what I would call a beautiful first layer. Everything is stuck. Even these little smaller than two millimeter sections, they're still beautifully stuck down there and it's gonna stay that way. So let's speed up through the print and we'll show you how to take it off. All right, so you can see here now the print's finished and the bed is still hot. So if I try to move this, it's not going anywhere. So now we're gonna let the bed cool down and I'll show you how easy it is to take it off. All right, so now the bed is cooled down to about 27 degrees and we are going to attempt to remove this print. Normally it should really, oh, there we go. I'm just gonna use this. This corner is still a little bit stuck, but that's okay. I'm going from this side. And look at that. I printed something this thin, very particularly, so you can see how well something like this, the typically using a glue stick, using something else, even hairspray. I used to swear by hairspray, but even hairspray <laughs> it doesn't beat this stuff, I'm telling you. All right, guys, so there you have it. You saw how it works. You saw how it applies, how it prints. I don't know really what else I can tell you. This stuff speaks for itself. It really is awesome. So I would suggest uh, giving it a shot. At the bottom. You can see how beautiful that is. It's just got a really, really great first layer. And you know, when you have a great first layer, you have a great print, usually. These are smaller than two millimeters. This is smaller than 10. If this doesn't say how amazing Magigoo is, I will say how amazing Magigoo is. It's amazing, you need to get some. Anyway. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell and do the thing and leave a comment down there in the box. And this is Chris from Versus 3D at 3D Printing Canada and have a good one.